good morning dear students so today we will discuss question answers of the chapter going places okay so here we go first question where was it most likely that the two girls would find work after school who are the two girls sophie and jancy okay so where they will find the work after school we know that they were poor okay and after school where they will go after school they will go to their concerned task and what was that was that biscuit factory okay and my dear children i will just tell you the sole point the main point of the chap now the on uh, questions other things you need to write yourself like this is the main point biscuit factory and in this answer you can write uh, like that uh, sophie was a day dreamer okay he was a day dreamer and then she was a realistic person or a realist fine so these things you do yourself i just tell you where they will go after school they will go to biscuit factory okay so this kind of thing we will discuss now second one what were the option that sophie was dreaming of means what about her dreams what does she want to become like first she want to open a boutique then she want to become an actress she want to become an a manager and she want to become a fashion designer okay these are dreams why did jency discourage her from having such dreams now the second part of the question why does why does jency discourage her for having such dreams you know all these things all these things they require what they require money and as we know that they are doing work or they do their job in biscuit factory so being a realist again being a realist then she suggested her to be on the ground or to be sensible okay then she had her feet firmly planted on the ground means she was sensible she was a realist she wanted that sophie to be sensible and drop all her dreams away all of them required what they required money and of course second one is experience that's why jency speak like this next question okay two are there next one here why did sophie wriggle when joff told her father that she had met danny cassie you know first thing you should know what the situation in this question what was the situation situation is that uh, joff uh, told her uh, told their father the wild story and what was the wild story meeting with danny cassie of sophie so as her father i mean sophie's father observe her after knowing this wild story see the observation of father observation of father at sophie gives her a look of uncomfort that's why she regal regal mean just to synchronize your body to feel sad like this so the wild stories told by sophie to her uh, brother joff and joff told the same story to their father then the father looked at sophie with some kind of uncomfort look that made sophie to regal okay next one next question does you believe what sophie says about her meeting with danny cassie the answer is no the answer is no okay we know very well that joff 
only listen only listen the word stories like father geoff they never believe the wild stories wild stories of sophie got it then does her father believe her story the answer is again no no the father does not believe her stories okay my dear children these are the one line i just tell you but you need to write some common thing like i just tell you about the answer of this one does her father believe her story the answer will be no sophie's father does not believe her story fun one thing second when geoff tells him tells him that sophie met danny casey his father looked at sophie with some kind of anger okay he ignores sophie totally he thinks that it is yet another wild story father thinks that his this is another wild story he began to talk about tom finney another great football player so likewise you need to answer your questions even though i will be sending you pdfs or notes next fourth question how does sophie include her brother geoff in her fantasy of her future you know uh, one thing i just tell you geoff was a role model for whom for sophie and what sophie wants that one day she will sit beside him to see the beauty of the town on the bike okay so likewise geoff was uh, always the first to share her secret this person okay so she told him about meeting with danny casey she also told him about her plan to meet danny casey next week okay she suspected areas of his life about which she was knew nothing because he is mature okay and she does not have an experience of maturity she wished to know them what the experience the maturity she wished that some day some day him he Miss Geoff might take her with him. She saw herself riding there behind Geoff. So same thing that one day Geoff will permit her to sit beside him on the two wheeler and will show her all the beauties of the surrounding area of the city or the town. Okay, so that's why Sophie include her brother Geoff in her wild stories. Next question: Which country did? Uh, did Danny Casey play for this country, my dear children? That country is Ireland. Okay, he was an Irish player, Irish football player. Next question in the chapter. This one. Why did Sophie want Jancy to know about her wild stories, Danny? Wild stories with Danny. Why didn't Sophie want Jensen's stories with Danny? See, Jensen was nosy. You know, nosy. I know. I see why. Nosy means interested. Interested in things concerned with others. Concerned with others. So. Who was nosy? Jancy, as he was a realistic person. Also, she took interest in knowing things about others, especially Sophie. Okay, she would spread the news of the meeting with Danny Casey in the complete society. Okay, Jancy will spread out the news. Sophie did not want this that Jancy should know about all the meeting with Danny Casey. Okay, got it. and sophie was surprised to learn that geoff geoff had told all things to jency about her story with danny casey but actually how did it go sophie told geoff and geoff told to frank and who was frank the brother of Jancy and Frank told to 
then c so again it will come to like this so sophie to j of j of to frank frank to then c then c to sophie like this in reality then did sophie really meet danny casey the answer is no no sophie did not really meet danny casey she was very fascinated girl who had wild stories who uh, was a great uh, fan of irish player she imagined his coming she sat in the park like this when you need to write down and uh, waiting for Danny Casey, knowing that he would not come. All the things he knows very well. She felt very sad. Okay, she always lost in dreamy world where she imagined meeting with Danny Casey. But in reality, she did not meet Danny Casey. Next one. Which was the only occasion when she got to see Danny Casey in person. Okay, so my dear children, do you remember the Saturday, the Saturday match? The only occasion when Sophie got to see Danny Casey was in person when the family, all the people like Geoff, father, Derek and all the family was to united on Saturday, Saturday match. Sophie, her father, Derek went to near the goal and Geoff took his seat on the higher up. You remember higher up? He was alone in the higher up seats. And uh, we got to know that Danny Casey draw the second goal. And at that time, two big defenders on this goal, edge of the penalty area. And he beat, who beat? Danny. Danny made a good effort to beat the opposite team and won the match. So, this was the real reality when Sophie got to see Danny Casey in person in stadium. Simply you can say in stadium while playing the match okay with united on saturday got it next one now understanding the text sophie and jency were classmates obviously and friends what were the difference between them that shows up in the story one thing first one taste second one is temperament okay got it next one is dream dreamer next one is realistic so both of them they have the different taste of their lives both of them they have different temperament of their life and of their life you can see next one sophie is a dreamer and jen is a realistic person okay second Second thing, Sophie was an escapist. Escapist means a person who gets chance to escape from the reality. Okay, got it. Then she knows that it cannot take place in real world. Fine. And apart from that, do you remember these dreams? Now we come to question number first again. Here, money and all the dreams experience so both of them uh, Jen she has more experience in thinking the things but all the dreams of the girl sophie requires money so likewise these are the differences okay even Jen she advised sophie to be sensible and practical sophie considered Jen she nosy sophie considered Jen she nosy nosy means interested in things concerned with the others and does not want to confine in her sophie does not sophie does not want jency to come in her dreams especially a meeting with danny casey okay so like what the question is so in first question you need to compare both the friends next one how would you describe the character and temperament of <coughs> sophie's father <coughs> see Sophie's father. First one. Old. Experienced. Short temper. Okay. Got it. Real. 
फाइन सो दीज आर थिंग्स हेड ऑफ द फैमिली ऑफ कोर्स हेड ऑफ द फैमिली ओके नेवर बिलीव अनरियलिस्टिक थिंग ओके लॉयल पर्सन टू कंट्री लॉयल पर्सन टू कंट्री लाइक वाइज आई जस्ट टेल यू समथिंग मोर अबाउट सोफीज फादर सोफीज फादर वॉज एन ओल्ड पर्सन ही डज नॉट सीम टू बी अ सॉफ्ट और सोफिस्टिकेटेड मैन ही इज नॉट सॉफ्ट सोफी फियर्स सोफी द गर्ल सोफी फियर्स हर फादर्स एंगर ही इज अ रियलिस्टिक एंड डज नॉट बिलीव इन डॉटर्स वाइल्ड स्टोरीज ओके ही इज नॉट नवर बिलीव इन अनरियलिस्टिक थिंग्स ओके ही लव वॉचिंग फुटबॉल फुटबॉल लवर ओके ही इज अ फुटबॉल लवर ही होप्स यंग कैसी विल बी एज गुड एज टॉम फिनी ही कंपेयर्स डैनी कैसी विद टॉम फिनी अ ग्रेट फुटबॉलर टॉम फिनी वॉज ऑल्सो ग्रेट फुटबॉलर ओके एंड ही विश इज दैट द यंग फुटबॉलर कीप्स अवे फ्रॉम ओल डिस्ट्रैक्शन ही साउट्स वाइल प्लेइंग the final match in the stadium he support his country and lastly when the match was over he went to pub he goes to pub to celebrate victory so these are the points which are being given here okay next one why did sophie like her brother geoff more than any other person from her perspective what did he symbolize do you remember one thing we just uh, discussed over there the thing was uh, here only role model do you remember geoff was the role model of sophie we we discussed this question just before some time so the answer will be like this geoff is the only person who listens while stories of sofi okay who listens while stories of sofi but he also does not believe them he hates sofi's wild stories even little derek make fun of even then the younger one the member of the family derek also makes fun of wild stories okay geoff symbolizes an elder brother okay and a role model for sophie okay got it and who has grown up and visited places unknown to her means geoff has visited many places which are unknown to sophie she wished that some day my brother Sophie wished that some day my brother, my brother, might take me to those places which are unknown to Sophie. Okay, which are unknown to Sophie, and apart from that, he is sympathetic and very alert, and always he tells Sophie to be realistic. Even Geoff gives warning. to sophie that he would never show up again means tenny kasi would not come to meet you at canal he speaks softly to her to his sister to break the heart of young dreamer okay he and most of the time he remains silent the silence of joff disturbed sophie a lot this is the one thing also so likewise we should describe here uh the qualities of geoff in this question next one what socio economic background did sophie belong to sophie belong to very poor family especially middle class family and she is an escapist and has wild stories in her dreams she dreams of things like manager fashion designer all these things okay what the what are the indicators of her family's financial status only one indicator first thing where the, where will they go after school biscuit factory this is first symbol second one the father is, sorry the brother job 
is an apprentice second example of middle class third one her father goes to pub no person who belongs to higher or prolific society like rich they never go to pub they celebrate at their home only okay so this one and apart from the uh, occupation occupation of job is what motor mechanic bike mechanic okay and he travels to his work each day to the far side of the city his jacket is shapeless this is also one example next one is derek fourth one is derek derek shoes was on the sofa when he said when father and the father wanted to wash the match on tv screen okay then next fifth one stove s t o v e the fireplace in the house is also an example okay and sixth one dirty clothes given in the chapter dirty clothes okay and next one is that all these example they take us it is the family this is the family that comes to lower middle class okay so this is a socio economic background means the social and economic background of the family belongs to middle especially lower middle i should say lower middle class lower middle class where the boy job is a mechanic father goes to pub and direct okay stove dirty clothes all these things and biscuit factory of course biscuit factory so these are the things which are being mentioned here okay now talking long answer sophie dreams a disappointment all in her dear children in this in this question we need to write the write down the correct sketch of sophie what does she do and next one is important question it is natural for teenagers to have unrealistic dreams what would you say are the benefits and disadvantages of such dreams it means teenager is an age of uh having dreams we just discuss here okay teenager uh, they have teenager they have enthusiasm okay and they have dreams like sophie and it's very na natural okay even a great scientist or a writer also has a dream and all these dreams what they require they require hard work hard work to make them true to make them true make them in real okay like sophie has many dreams but she does not do any kind of hard work to make them true okay so this is the thing and all the teenagers all the teenagers they they live in unreal world they do not know the reality of the world okay they dreams like a child okay fine like example i just tell you a child asking for moon asking for moon is it possible to have moon in their hands no that's why it is unreal world such dreams result in such dreams result in sadness if a child is unable to fulfill his dreams without doing hard work so child will become sad okay so a dreamer should have hard work to complete his dreams okay so these are the questions we have discussed dear children i will be posting the answers till then do reading of the chapter and try to solve the answers thank you have a good day